Androgenic alopecia, also known as male or female pattern hair loss, is a genetic condition and one of the most common forms of hair loss. According to the National Institutes of Health, this condition affects an estimated 50 million men and 30 million women in the United States alone. This form of hair loss occurs in a highly predictable pattern, preferentially affecting the temples, the midfrontal scalp, and the crown in males. In females, a diffuse reduction in hair density is more typical. In both sexes, however, the hair in the back of the scalp is spared. A combination of hereditary gene mutations, along with increased levels of a hormone called DHT, results in pattern hair loss. Androgenic alopecia is the conversion of healthy, thick hairs to clear, microscopic hairs. The effects of DHT are specific to each individual hair follicle. This explains why hair follicles in the back of the scalp are not prone to loss, while other hairs are. In fact, these hairs are permanent, making them ideal donor hairs for the transplant procedure. After hair transplantation, you will not lose your grafted hair. For this reason, great care is taken in creating a natural, age-appropriate plan for hair replacement. This is done in anticipation of further changes to the native or the non-transplanted hair over time. There are now many options available to preserve the native hair. Such treatments can slow or even halt the androgenic alopecia process. These include nutritional supplements, FDA-approved prescription medications, low-level light therapy, and platelet-rich plasma injections. In regions of the scalp where hair loss has significantly progressed, robotic and automated hair restoration techniques are necessary. Fortunately, for the first time in human history, hair loss has become optional. Here at the Center for Hair Restoration at Premier Plastic Surgery, we use the world's most advanced robotic technology to deliver the best outcome possible. The Artist Robotic System is a powerful tool that allows our team to extract quality graphs every time. On the day of the procedure, the donor area in the back of the scalp is clipped short. It's important to note that only the donor region is trimmed. This is done to minimize visibility and accelerate your recovery. After receiving some relaxing medication, a gentle technique is then used to deliver local anesthetic, numbing the scalp for several hours. The artist system is used to harvest healthy, robust grafts from the back of the scalp. This advanced robotic system utilizes stereoscopic vision and artificial intelligence to analyze the angle and position of your donor hair 60 times per second, performing extraction with unparalleled precision. Once removed, each graft is then inspected for quality and counted. This technology eliminates the potential for human fatigue and error that is all too often associated with outdated transplant methods. Not to mention, it's completely scarless. For those requiring a large volume of grafting, or those who've had previous strip method transplantation, utilization of both robotic and automated harvesting techniques may be necessary. After gentle delivery of local anesthesia, placement sites are then created in the recipient areas agreed upon during your consultation. Once complete, the procedure concludes with the placement of the extracted grafts. A small dressing is placed at the end of the surgery to cover the donor region for the next day and a half. For those with shorter hairstyles, the donor region recovers completely in about one week without a detectable decrease in hair density to the human eye. Those with longer hair may be able to camouflage the donor region to allow for even greater concealment. Utilization of this advanced system allows for a fast recovery meaning minimal time away from work and your daily activities. Early on, very fine scabbing and stubble will be seen throughout the recipient region. This area recovers completely in about 10 days, revealing only new stubble. Your non-transplanted hair can often be styled to mask or camouflage the recipient region. Detailed instructions are provided on how to cleanse the hair beginning two days after the procedure. We ask that you please refrain from heavy exercise for two weeks and styling products for three weeks following surgery.
Your grafted hairs will begin to grow a few weeks after your procedure. At three months, you can expect to see many new fine hairs. The coverage of the treated areas improves significantly by six months, and a dramatic change in hair caliber, quality, and density results by one year. Supportive therapies such as low-level light treatment and platelet-rich plasma injection are included with your procedure to further improve your outcome. Thank you for scheduling your consultation. This is Zachary Coben, Physician Assistant at the B. Vassar Howe Center for Hair Restoration. On behalf of our hair restoration team, I'd like to welcome you to Premiere.